this is your February love reading for Capricorn singles, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Although personally, I think the moon sign resonates the best. So if you don't know your moon sign, there's a link in the description box below that'll kind of help you figure that out. Let's get started. So in the month of February for Capricorn, um, I'm going to pull a card to kind of see what your energy is, one to represent you. And it's like you're focused more on the lack. You're focused more like, oh, I don't have a partner. Like, what if I never meet a partner? Like, these are the things that are going wrong. I haven't had sex in four years or, you know, whatever your situation is. You're focused on the sadness and, and, and what's gone wrong in your love life instead of being focused on the positive aspects of things, right? So what you need to do is turn around and focus on the things that are going right in your life. Because if, if you don't, somebody can come up behind you and fuck your life up worse, <laughs> essentially is kind of what that's saying. So it's like when we are vibrating at a high level, okay, when we're loving the things that we have, we're putting out this love vibration into the universe, and then it's going to bring us back more things to love. Think about it this way. If you're giving and giving and giving something to somebody and they never say thank you, are you going to continue to keep giving? God or the universe is the same way. They're like, you know what, you don't appreciate this. Let me just take a few things from you you know, until you can learn to appreciate what you have. But if you're always like, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much, then then God or the universe or whatever you believe feels good about giving you stuff. And whether that's the stuff that you're asking for, love, money, whatever. And so get on that bandwagon, start doing it. Okay, so what are your uh, behavioral patterns that are influ influencing your love life in the month of February? So it might be a little bit redundant, but they're like, okay, for better, um, the joy and the happiness that you do have from time to time. It's not like you're down in the dumps all the time, but when you're radiating this energy of joy and happiness and contentment, um, then you're going to feel more happy and content. Now, that's the better side of things. Now, for worse, <laughs> what are your behavioral patterns that are affecting your love life? Um, and they're like, you know what, to be honest... It's just like new adventures can be overwhelming and they can make you a little bit worried or suspicious, but you are um, kind of trans transitioning into this growth mindset. Like, you know what? Okay. We started with that first card. Some of us are kind of down. I'm going to focus on expressing more gratitude for the things that are good and something good will definitely come with this. And it'll be bigger and better than I imagined. And they say that after one week's time of really focusing on your gratitude practices, that you could expect somebody exciting to come into your life. So yay. Okay. So what are the areas of further growth um, that you need in order to find love? And they're like, just being okay with changes, just like knowing that when you make a little change, yeah, sure. It could put like a larger cascade or domino effect of changes um, into your life, but they're going to be very positive. It's hard to change. But, um, and change can be scary, just like death can be scary, right? But if you believe that things will be bigger and brighter and more beautiful on the other side, just like this guy might believe that about heaven or whatever, um, or afterlife in general, that will be a reality because what we think about, we bring about. Now, um, what are some things though that you'll be changing or be needing to change in order to attract this love that you desire? And they're like, you really have to get out there and co-create your environment. Um, Sagittarius has a very similar energy where it's like, you might have to be the person initiating conversations. You might have to go out of your way to go and find love as opposed to just like waiting for the universe to deliver it. Um, you might have to go out and search of them. You might have to do it fast. If you are on a dating app, you're going to want to re- Respond to messages very, very quickly because a person who is out there that would be very fun and exciting and a, like a passionate person, whether they're going to stay for a little while or for a long time in your life, um, might just lose their patience if you don't get back to them quickly. So there's that. Um, now, what areas do you need to kind of let go of to allow this love or this excitement to flow into your life? Now, in the past, maybe... And this might be part of the reason why it's so important for you to initiate these conversations and be quick about it. Because in the past, you've probably given to relationships or situations, your energy, your love, your time, maybe even your money, and you didn't get back in a balanced way. Now, they're saying those times have changed. You're walking into a new energy, especially after this big blood moon, full moon, lunar eclipse blue moon stuff, right? They're like, you're coming into something entirely different. Now, um, one thing I do want to mention for you is that you've, uh, 
You've had a very similar energy, a very similar February love forecast as Sagittarius does. And so for that, um, it's if you have Capricorn and Sagittarius both blended into your chart, maybe you're a Sagittarius sun sign, but you are a Capricorn moon sign or vice versa, or the rising and Venus is mixed in there somewhere. Um, just know that it's very important for you to initiate conversations this month because it will pay off. Now, for Sagittarius, it's more of like a deeper love connection than it might be for a Capricorn, unfortunately. But if you're looking for something fun and exciting, then this is it for you, Capricorn. And you know, um, maybe you want both. And it's not saying it can't grow into that. But that that feeling of excitement and attraction is definitely here for you. And it's um, like... Whatever you were expecting because of how 2017 or 2016 went, it's going to be completely different now. It's a big, drastic change and in a positive and exciting new direction, so I hope you embrace that energy. Now, um, if you use crystals at all, I think that in your video reading for February in general terms was saying that smoky quartz was going to be the way to go because it'll help you to get grounded. It'll remove your negative thinking like with that uh, five of cups card that we started with. So if you want more information on that, it's all over Google. There's some on my website. Um, you could get a smoky quartz there. You could get it from your local crystal shop. If you're not in crystals, fuck it, who cares? But best of luck. And I'm so excited to hear how your month goes. Um, enjoy all of this exciting, passionate energy. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.